Y'all, what is good, yo? It's been a minute, like a week coming up now I didn't get to upload. I took a couple of days off, not because I was busy. It's just I literally just didn't really play 2K for a couple of days. The only time I got on 2K in the last week was just to pick up a moment's Damian Lillard. By the way, he is just fucking godly, just to let you know. And I purposely wanted to get this video out just so I could skip forward to where my team is upgraded because I completely changed up my lineup. I said I was going to use players. Okay, okay, yeah, good fucking block. All right. I purposely changed up my lineup just so I could use players that I like because really and truly, the absurd shit that some people will mech on you in these seed. Because I'm in the fourth seed right now. It's unrestricted, but at the same time, the difficulty is still on all star. I hope you're peeping some of this crazy shit that this guy is mecking. Like, what? Oh. Hold this fucking JR Leia. By the way, this is actually the last game we're going to see with Diamond JR. Because I've fully accepted this philosophy of just using players that I like. Because in reality. And boom goes the dynamite two reasons one because firstly i don't know if you've noticed this yet but every single time that this guy has gotten a score it was because he up the ball to the closest person to the rim and because transition defense does not actually work in this game he's able to get a dunk or a fall with the people on his team being clyde westbrook or lebron three people that just dunk or get a fall every single time he had no half court offense second reason being 2k momentum cheese does not give a fuck about your feelings this year whatsoever i don't care what kind of diamond card you have once the momentum kicks in and they feel like letting the other person start hitting some absurd and boom goes the dynamite some absurd ass shit you know what i'm talking about yo this gameplay has been the best that it's been since 2k13 but momentum is a motherfucker and you can tell when that shit is coming and what's funny is for the most part i was still beating this guy for all of the game i was getting good balance between transition and half court offense up by 10 already in the second quarter and this is where he makes his comeback he starts doing that up chuck shit and look i even tipped the ball and still he gets it back and makes some like what what then on the other hand i'm over here actually scoring in real life post up see my boy cut get the dunk get that shit jr i don't know if the unrestricted superstar seeds are any better than this because i'm used to playing superstar and hall of fame and team up but this shit is just fucking absurd i love using that word in these seats fuck you and your paws you deserve to miss that because i don't know how you're going to just rip fucking curry look at this beautiful real shit catch him on the cutback and one nigga what the fuck you thought pause pause i should pause for you and as much as i love putting curry in a nick jersey realistically i did sell him after this game as well because I'm not a huge fan of Curry like I like him but I'm not a huge fan of him and now as I proceed to put this nigga in his clamps this is when he does not have an upchuck offense this is when he's just in the half court doesn't know what to do with himself running left to the right don't even fucking bring that shit over here because I'm locking your bum ass up fuck you you got a good shot off but miss it and then 24 seconds of good defense just to have my dreams shot all over inbound up chuck to LeBron oh my god yo have you played somebody like this before who in the fuck does he think he is? What? And boom goes the dynamite. In 2K13, it was the 1-3-1 zone, the spin dunk cheese, and then the Euro step three-pointer. This year, it's the momentum, the transition defense, and then the unrealistic entry passes people can make off of cuts. Like, that shit makes no sense. And then to make it worse, this nigga took me to Sweat City and started the off-ball doubling to get me to pass for the stick. Yo, fuck you. Realistically, fuck you. I know he he's a sub. He's actually a sub because we messaged each other after the game. But generally and respectfully as possible, fuck you. And look, 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 look the man paused on me because I hit him with a perfect release on Dirk and look what happens the very next play up chuck to Blake and then add one for the chance for one more at the free throw line I don't know where it goes from here. When games like this happen, it becomes a shootout. I am going to shoot you into the ground. And boom goes the dynamite. All the long time subs, you know how it goes. I play as realistic as possible. But when 2K decides to give you this shit, and when you're probably accepting it, this shit needs to stop. And I don't care how I get this and, W. And, and, and boom goes the dynamite. I make it rain. I'm in this bitch with the cheddar. Got a handful of stacks. Better grab. Gold squad, nigga. Who the fuck you would have thought? Exactly what I was doing. I was talking so much shit because I'm like, alright, now I'm just going to to pull away as I always do in the fourth quarter. 2K quietly sat me down and said, look here you Jamaican fuck. Way or another, you are going to experience the wrath of us and hold this fucking L. Free fly. Time out in the fourth quarter, I don't play that momentum shit. Time out, stop it right there, so all right? So you got your little run, that's cool and fine. And how is he getting these off? Like, that's what I want to know. I know all of you, and I missed the layup. Butterfinger, the fucking rebound, and then he rushes up court as quick as possible. Gold Westbrook and one on Dwight. 
It was at this moment I knew this was my first test of the 2k year. This is the first time that I wanted to test my skill. Hold that dick plus with Dirk real quick. It's the clutch. I'm not missing. I've I've had, I had every faith in that shot going. I didn't even see D plus and then get scared. Throws it through Dirk's head though. What the f like what what do you actually do to stop that? There isn't a way. I try testing, I jump the passing lane, and then he still gets the ball anyway, and he just does the most gauntlet shit ever. Tell me you don't see that shit in gauntlet all the time. Take that wide run around the half circle and just come in for the dunk lane. If you thought this fucking game was over, then you lost your fucking mind. Dirk is the one that is going to bring us the That's a three. Okay, alright, I'm just taking that L. The, the good game, that was basically the sealed game miss. But realistically, this is why actually it gets annoying now to actually play Road to the Playoffs specifically because people recognize my name now when them see it. Like, real shit, I wish people did not know my gamer tag at all, but people personally go out of them way to play a certain way to beat me to say that they beat a YouTuber. And that was the icing on the cake. What the fuck was that ball? I, I don't even know, but whatever, I'm going to hold this L gracefully. GG to this guy. Re respectfully, thank you for being a sub so much. I appreciate all the support you may give me, especially if you see this video. But fuck you. Like, legitimately, fuck you. Just, that's all I feel. That was my first loss in Road to the Playoffs of the year. Actually, I had gotten a second loss, but I'm actually not uploading that one personally. And I'm going to tell you guys why. It was this fuck that was a streamer on Twitch, I think. He was cheesy as fuck and one in the clutch, but it was what he was messaging me afterwards when we played, saying that I need to hold this L and I suck and I should upload this so he can get famous. No, hold my dick. That was my mission to make sure nobody ever sees your name. But I will gracefully take this L. Like I said, I just took a couple of days off of playing 2K, but this weekend going to be an extended weekend. I'm going try to get to three videos tomorrow is going to be i think a dynamic merchanting episode and sunday or monday i guess i would do a hidden gem i don't know yet and also of curiosity thank you guys again for 10,000 subscribers i hit this shit quick as fuck would there be a 10k sub special i don't even know what it would be some people on twitter asked for a q a again i, I don't know what what would y'all want